chapter 1 is called The Happiness of God, The Foundation of Christian Hedonism. And the basic idea is if God is not happy, if he's a gloomy God, he can't be the source of joy. If you have a father who's a gloomy father, he comes home from work and he's always sad, you're going to be a sad person. So the basic idea is God is not a gloomy God. And the evidence for that in the Bible is first that God delights in his son. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, which means that from all eternity, God has been thrilled with the reflection of his perfections in his son. And the son loves the father. Or another evidence would be that you go to the teachings of Jesus and you hear him say, I'm speaking these things to you so that my joy might be in you. Well, if he doesn't have any, what's he going to put in me? Or you could look at the ministry of the Holy Spirit. What does he do? The Holy Spirit comes and what are his fruits? Love, joy. I think the Holy Spirit is the presence of the intra-Trinitarian joy. In other words, God's delight in the Son and the Son's delight in the Father is put in my heart by the Holy Spirit. So God is a happy God and therefore we have the hope that if we get near to him, if we know him, if we're drawn into his fellowship, we can become an eternally happy people.